Guys, so for one, TV here, Fibbly TV, we have Puppy Blocks here. We're still pushing Puppy Blocks. My, let me be very clear, same. Puppy Blocks is an amino blend that allows your dog to get the proper protein that it needs, be it, especially if you're feeding dog food, when a dog lacks the protein, nine out of 10 dog foods are not made up of 50% protein. A dog uses protein specifically to build everything. Hairs, nails, skin, everything, DNA. It's all based around protein. Keratin is in the skin. Guess what it does? It keeps the skin pretty. It's an amino, to be clear. So, when I first product, we said, "How do we need to come up with a blend for pups? Because people are gonna feed their dogs dog food, which is good. Do the best you can with what you have. Challenge is, is making sure that the dog's getting the proper nutrition, and in some cases, the best nutrition. So, I'm gonna show you one way to use it, and then walk you through judging Bam Bam. So this is yogurt, Greek yogurt, no flavor. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna add a scoop of the block of puppies. That's your Marcus's foot, nobody farted, just so we're clear. <laughs> He's not too uncommon. I'm gonna mix this in here, okay? This adds a lot of flavor. It's exciting, it smells good. We're from Kansas City, so we put that brisket flavor on that booger. And I'm gonna pull Bam Bam out. Bam Bam, my bad. He's gonna enjoy this. Beno said, I'm gonna enjoy it very, very much. <laughs> Marcus, hold this real quick. Now, if you look at the table, you can see that there's graphite on them. Come on. Also, when your dog's coming out the cage, let them go through their process. I don't want him to ever have to drag him out the cage. The minute I drag him out the cage, it's a negative response. Then he'll think he's in trouble all the time. I want him to comfortably, confidently come out the cage and know that we're good. What's up, man? Come on. Let's go. Good boy. He's going to do his little stretch. <laughs> come on. And you grab him a little bit. Let him know he's okay. <clears throat> boy, I remember when he was a baby on this table. So let's take a look at Bam Bam. Somebody said, I broke down the necks earlier in another video. So they say, Bam Bam has a short neck. He does. You know why? Because he's the iPhone 1. Mm. Oh, be sleepy. So another thing to be mindful of is your dog's behavior. If your dog starts wanting to sit and rest like this, he has no reason to rest like this, but he's tired. If he's tired, what do you do? You grab another dog. We've got it. Cha Cha over here. Lick that off my hands. Yeah, he been outside a good portion of the day, having a good time. Cha Cha over here, honey. She's a firecracker. Go ahead. Come on. See, she come right out. What's going on, brother? <laughs> see, you see the pace already different. Literally. Girl, no, no, no! You didn't want to. You didn't want to participate. You didn't want to participate. You, you up now? <laughs> so let's take a look at Cha Cha. Good girl. <laughs> she's got the shoulders. She's got a neck. She's got a good head. Her stop will kick in a little bit when she gets a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't necessarily care for her real rear. She's got good fronts, and again, she's a part of the iPhone One that we're that we're building. There we go, Mama. There we go. Your job is to guide, direct your dog. Nah, nah. <laughs> and continue to encourage them. Now let me be very clear. And, ah, don't get that yogurt on me. <laughs> let me be very clear in saying, look, she's an independent thinker as well. <laughs> and saying, I have not worked them on the table quite a bit. Because we don't do a lot of stacking stuff here. I'm not, they're not going to no shows. These aren't show dogs. They're my dogs. <laughs> but when they're pups, you start building their confidence early. Just look at Tup back here. And again, you can play with their feet, rub their back. She did what I needed her to do. She's got the yogurt on her. Cha-Cha can jump on this table and off this table. Point is, 
Stack your dogs up, take a side picture, analyze where they're at structurally. I want the neck to be a little bit longer. I want a better rear. She's just a puppy though. She's got a long time to, to live. You literally, the dog doesn't even super mature until it's about five years old. She's done an amazing job as you've seen, participating and being a good girl for me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, mama. <laughs> Crazy. Put her up. But again, Ah, girl. But again, when you're analyzing your dog, analyze the things that feel that that go with your program. Build out your idea. I need to breed function. So where do the the legs need to be on the dog's assembly? It's not uncommon for the bully to run and those back legs kick out like that versus right under him. You can cover more ground when you're here versus looking out <laughs> and reduce the risk of injury. Got y'all fired up now. So at any hoop, for now, stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Analyze all your dogs. Pups, begin to analyze them as early as four weeks, especially when you can get them on the table. This table will be used in the future. If it's God's plan and we have two more litters in the next 45 to 50 days, you're gonna see a lot of videos, a lot of work, a lot of education, a lot of information. What we look for, what we do, how we do it, how it works, how to help and most importantly, how to better take care of pups and your dogs. So stay tuned as always. Thank you for watching. Ah, pray for us.